Hello, and welcome hey. to I'm Not Trying to Kill You. Today we are playing Alas for the Awful Sea. We're going to get cold and wet and miserable, possibly haunted, definitely mm. uh, bad British accent, b bad UK oh, yeah. accents. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a good time. There's probably going to be some fish. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I have with me three salty sailors um, who I would love to give me an introduction of themselves and their characters. Let me know your name, your pronouns, what you do, if you have anything you want to plug, um, and then who who's your character and what 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 do they look like? What have they been up to? Um, Emily, as is the tradition yeah. of our people, you're up first. Hi, I am Emily. Um, I am a filmmaker and an artist. Um, sometimes I make art for games. Um, my pronouns are she, her, hers. Um, and in this game, I am playing Tristan Sallow, who is an, an old salty sea dog. Um, who you, you ju just imagine that he has a really sort of gruff Welsh old man accent because I am, I suck at it I'm bad at it but just like imagine it in your mind try to try to create that for yourselves um, but yes uh, he's also he's he's kind of spooky um, sort of I guess haunted by the sea a little bit um, and he can see visions sometimes which is neat. Is it cool. still too hot for the hat? Yeah, it's still too hot for the hat. It keeps being really hot on Mondays. I was really looking forward to it. I was like, I'm going to get so dressed up. I'm going to put on like a shirt and like suspenders and the hat and everything. And well, then want... it's freaking like 32 degrees. Yeah. I want the pipe. We need the pipe. All right. Okay. Yes, I'm, I'll get the pipe. I'll, I'll cool. get the pipe while other people introduce Yeah, me. Haley, do you want to do your yeah. intro? Great. Um... Hi, I'm Haley from Story Brewers. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and I am playing um, Blythe Cooper, the bosun, who is um, pretty salty right now um, due to some things that occurred um, in the last session that did apparently go the way she planned. Um, uh, I did want to do a quick plug though. Um, so Story Brewers just released a new free micro RPG today. Um, called The Very Important Task, and it is a RPG of office drudgery and pandemonium um, based on my true experiences working in a multinational corporation. Um, so you can experience the, the horrors, I mean, joys and wonders um, of workaday office life. Um, the link is in the chat. Um, that's me. Cool. I love that title, The Very Important Task. Yeah. I like life. I like like you salty that things didn't go the way you want, wanted last time, and then we just like cut to an alternate timeline where the doctor is just lying dead at the bottom of a yeah. <laughs> of a just like <laughs> in another no, timeline. Hello, I'm still... oh, he didn't do that though. <laughs> exactly. No, I know. Derek, how are you going? Uh, my name is my name is Derek. I am a uh, member of the Dice Stormers. We are a YouTube group. You can check us out on. Uh, YouTube and all of the socials um, and I'm a, a game developer and a designer um, I'm going to be playing Charles Underwood the third maybe the second or something. Um, he's a merchant and there's his uh, his portrait um, Murray who this portrait was modeled off was one of the, the uber backers for alas for the awful sea so he got his picture in the game so that's the reason why I'm playing him um, yeah and my pronouns are he and him cool excellent so last time hmm. on Alas for the Awful Sea um, we had a vision of mm -hmm. uh, old man Riley Ryan 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 um, and then we managed to get out of Catherine's Nape. Um, we managed to scale our way up the slimy cliffs and no one died. Um, yeah. We thought for a minute that someone had died, but then it was yeah. just driven alive. Yeah, no, yeah. 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 It's, exactly. It was late at night. 
Um, Everyone was in a lot of pain. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And still yeah. are, I think, in a lot yeah, of Yeah, y'all are, y'all are in a ruined we're, cottage, I think. Yeah, we're in that cottage, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, did... I was being sent off to do something, to get, like, a stretcher or something. That's right, a stretcher. Yeah, that's right. A stretcher so that... and something else. A stretcher and something I else. I don't remember what the something else was. Hmm. Well, oh, well, it's gone that now. Obviously, it wasn't <laughs> that important. Yep. We've left the body down there, right? The body is still at the nape. Yep. Yeah, yeah. we couldn't bring it up in the dark. I think yeah. last we okay. saw it was floating at like knee height on the deck of Old Man Ryan's ship. I think we pulled it onto the rocks. Yeah, oh, we did. Pulled we onto pulled it onto the shore, the shore where the, the shore. where the um, far enough up that the tide wasn't going to That's drag right. it back. It into wasn't the going to yeah. like. And I was kind of like, like, well, job well done. Oh shit, we just like pulled a dead body off a yeah. boat, which has now disappeared. Yeah. Uh, we're the latest ones to have touched this dead body. Yeah, I think we just had that revelation, yeah. Yeah. Although, we did, like, there was the hope that the doctor, having seen the, the body there, um, uh, would, like, in the morning would be able to go back and maybe try and ascertain a time of death, which hopefully will help us not look like we killed someone. Um, that would be good. It would be good. Yeah. Um, so, um, there is, it's night, it's like, it's night now, um, you have a lantern in the cottage, there's the sound of an owl off in the distance, just letting out like a single shriek, um, and also probably crickets, I think? Um, because it's not incredibly cold once you're out of the, like, wind of the nape. Um, and yeah, the doctor is tending to... Now, what wounds did you have? I'm trying to remember. Who had someone which wounds? Had a, someone had a broken rib. That's right. That Charles, how's Charles. your rib? Charles had a broken rib, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it hurts when I everything. Yeah. Um... Mm. And two yeah. harm I've taken, so... Yeah, exactly. And I think... Um, uh, I think that Blythe has also taken two harm, but it's to the leg yes. region. Yeah. Yes, I, I... My leg is not functioning very well. Yeah. Um, and I'm continuously checking to see if it's better by trying to stand up and do something useful, yeah. but then perpetually being disappointed. What was the doctor's mm. name? Winston. And Charles is, is doting on you and, and telling you to rest and sit down. Yeah, and Probably like, throw something yeah. At you if you tried that. <laughs> Go I mean, away. like, Winston is doing the same thing. Both of them are being like, no, no, sit down. Just wait. Be patient. Someone will be here with right. a stretcher soon and we can carry you back and, uh, and all those sorts of things. Right? And um, it's like, and yeah, I think Winston's like, don't you worry your pretty little head. We'll get you back to town and, uh, like, Oof. we'll get you back to uh, town safely soon. Oof. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Um, in the meantime, is there anything like y'all are doing in the cottage while we're waiting for the stretcher? Um, so is there I'm a fire? heading off. Right. Uh, did you light a fire? Uh, I did light a fire <laughs> originally. Yeah, in which but case it's probably was not still going. going. To be, it wasn't going to be a long-lasting fire. We oh, specifically. I said it was just made from like sailcloth or something. Yeah, exactly. So, so it wouldn't. It would have burned out by now. Yeah, yeah. But there is a space for it. There's a space for a fire, but you yeah. have to find something to light. Other, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Is is there any kind of um, uh, wood stockpile or or kindling around? Sounds like. So it's not a charge situation. Um, I mean, I think it... Actually, I would argue that the situation of I have broken ribs and it hurts when I anything <laughs> kind of is, this is true. a charge situation. Like, if he's going to try and, like, get up and go looking for firewood, like, that's, that's pretty... Yeah, but Rita's situation in the last is more like 
read a situation in uh, in Apocalypse World than discern realities in Dungeon World. So, right, yeah. right. well, is, mm-hmm. is it acting yep. under pressure? I think it's acting under yeah, pressure. Yeah, yeah, that makes yep. sense. That would be yep. more, yeah. That's the what I was trying to work out. Of right. your ribs. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Um, now, the what do we think it is? Ribs on my innards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's either like, is it brains or balance? When you're acting, mm. yeah, it's got to be. Mm. It's got to be balance. It's balance, yeah. Balance. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's right, because you you don't. Um, it's I'm, not. I'm, it's always balance, isn't it? Yeah. I've been playing too many PBTA games. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say they're all getting muddled. But when you think about it logically, yeah. if you're searching for like, if you're searching for kindling and in the dark and your rib is broken. Brains is yeah. not the thing that you need. That's true. <laughs> well, I mean, it is, but it's clearly not the thing you're using. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm just logging into Zoom. It's being weird. into roll twenty. You're in Zoom. The other thing. Oh the wait, hang on. Where's the roll twenty thing? Shall we follow? Did I miss the Tristan? Oh, the roll twenty link is the same as last week. Yeah, it's always the same. Yeah, that one always stays the same. If you just go to roll twenty dot net and log in, it'll have the it'll have the game there. Oh, points for preparation. Um, yeah, so I'm going to venture out and... Did we establish how much familiarity you had with the smuggling operations here? Look, um, I think my familiarity was, was sort of on the business side and I kind of didn't know if we were dealing with illegal people or not. Yeah, right. Yeah. So there's there's a little bit of willful um, uh, ignorance on on my part there. I'm I'm not doing so much due diligence. Yeah. Right. Cool. All right. We're up. Um, but yeah. You don't tend to get your hands dirty. Is the is the main point there? Yeah. Uh, okay. So ba- uh, balance. Friend. A fine. Yeah. No. That's not gonna do it. Oh gosh. In the meantime. Okay. Uh like while while Charles is struggling around in the dark looking for firewood. Uh Tristan. What are you doing? Well, uh, I've been instructed by the good doctor to go and find a stretcher or similar, um, something that I can, presumably something that we can put Charles on because he can't, well, he's not supposed to be able to move. <laughs> um, I'm not sure who's supposed to go on the stretcher. Winston's just Okay, asked for one him. of them is. Okay, all right. Um, I'm also, as I'm walking through the field in the dark, because I'd, well, I must have taken a lantern or something with me. Um, I think we decided that I had a separate one, so I think okay. I've got a lantern. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm sort of bumbling through the, the darkened field and thinking, who am I going to go and see to try and get something? Um, because, you know, usually you would think, like, a doctor would be the person you would go and see. But um, uh, he didn't say, go to my house and get one, so I'll have to go find someone else. But I'm also thinking to myself about how uh, there's a dead body and and all that stuff that we talked about, about like how we don't want to end up looking really suspicious or something. So um, I'm thinking about it as I go and and wondering whether I should just tell whoever I find the the sort of the story and get some more people to come and help. Um, Because A, A, they can help with the people who are injured and B, uh, then they can, you know, back up our story or whatever um 
But then I'm also thinking to myself as I go through the field and mumbling away to myself that, well, we don't know who, why he was strung up there in the first place and it looked very suspicious and maybe like a murder. And so what if I accidentally tell someone who was the murderer? So I'm sort of mumbling away to myself as I go back into town about like what I should do. Um, and I think um, as far as find as far as like someone who would have a stretcher or similar, should I just uh, is that a thing I should like roll to try and like yeah go to the right place or do I just say oh yes I have ascertained that so and so would have one for this reason. So is it, is you a like couple of things. To? Um, yeah. We could roll a an act under pressure to find a to find a stretcher. I think mm-hmm. that seems appropriate. Mm-hmm. The other thing you can do is just make up someone, but they have to be connected. I'm going to say that if you do that, they have to have like a relationship with you, right? Yeah. If you already yep. know someone, um, mm-hmm. would would she be? Would Tristan be aware of um, Dominic, who's who I'm? Um, I, I would probably know of him, but I don't know that I would know him like. Mm, I wouldn't. I don't think I would know much about what he does. So, if he was a person that was likely to have a stretcher, I don't think I'd know that. Um, but I'd know okay. he was a friend of yours. Hmm. So that could be a thing. That could be a place to start. Because, because, like, yeah, one of the things we haven't done a lot of in in this game um, is like really like rooting your characters in the like local population. And, yeah. And, and, and well, that's like, why I kind of thought like I'm happy so, to just yeah. be like. It is blah, and yeah. I know them because of whatever. If I was so, going to drift the system, I'd chuck a circles roll. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, circles um, is, is what we need here. Because yeah. then you could just be like, I know someone, and like, mm. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But yes, it's not a thing in this case. I mean, in this game, the one of the like principles, like, I guess, approaches is like, Bring, bring in new people. Like in this case, oh. it's it's not. Well, it's like about what's interesting, right? It's not that re- interesting to roll tack under pressure to yeah. see where a stretcher is. It's interesting to see who you know exactly. that has one and and how they're going to feel about using it in the middle of the night. So yeah, exactly. I don't exactly. think that you even need a roll to see if you know someone. It's much more interesting cool. if you just do. Oh yeah, no. About it. Yeah, my, yeah, my thing cool. with the circles roll is is usually whether or not that They're works out for you like you know someone but you roll to see whether yeah. or not it works out like d- uh, like yeah yeah like does this person actually not want to give you the thing because they owe you because you owe them something or something like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um that version of circles but yeah mm-hmm. emily but yes okay tristan um who do you know i think i um i think i know um a woman by the name of um let's go let's go thorn mm-hmm. her name is thorn uh um spencer cool. and um i know her I know her because um, she has a particular fondness um, for uh, a, a certain brand of rum uh, that we sometimes pick up when we go to other, uh, like another port, uh, another town. And so whenever I um, I come back to this town, I bring her the rum that she likes. And I think in exchange, um, uh, she, because she, I think she's like a, um, at least in her in her own time, she's somewhat of a herbalist. Um, so she does like uh, um, sort of medicinal stuff. Um, but I think she also supplies me with like the like very 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 good chewing tobacco. So we have this little like kind of swap um, cool. that we do. Um, but I think to myself that you know she has like. Um, sort of poultices and things that she makes from like uh, things that grow around um, uh, the the coast um, and she's very sort of well versed in like kind of like all those you know old wives remedies um, and I think she might have something like that 
Um, sure. And Sounds has good. the potential to still be awake at this time of night. I'm gonna go see her. Yep. Uh, so, um, you go to her place, and um, yeah, and I think she, I think she's there. Um, I think she's drunk as fuck. Mm. She, That's normal. Yeah, she answers. She answers the door. And is like Tristan. Dawn! Yes. She's like, Strange time to be out and about, I know. She, she, she's like, nothing strange for you, salty old man. Come in here, have a drink. <laughs> so, yeah, it's I, my I granddaughter's birthday. Is it? One. Oh, well, I'm very sorry to interrupt. This was just not here. No drinking a child. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, he, he he sort of follows her in, uh, but like and and kind of responds to that, and then rather than than sort of giving any answer to to her grandchild's birthday, uh, he says, um, uh, "I'm afraid I'm going to have to pass on that drink because we have somewhat of a problem." Up on the the cape near Catherine's neck, Catherine's nape, or whatever it is. Yeah, Catherine's um, nape. Catherine's nape. Or just the uh, Yeah, okay. Um, uh, some of my friends are injured. We need help and uh, something to carry them on. It's like... A stretcher or some like. What? Oh, yeah. You just well, you wags all up on the nape, always falling on them rocks. It's a bad time to shoot. Sh law abiding citizens don't get it. There are like bottles of really expensive wine that are like. There's two bottles of empty bottles of really expensive wine that she shouldn't be able to afford, just like lying next to a stool in the. Uh, mm. In the. Um, like near, near, the, near the fire. The like little fire alcove. She's like, mm. I do stretchers. Uh, let's go and see my Basil, and we'll borrow his hair cut. And we that, put that, him on a hair cut. That'll do it. We'll that'll do it. Back. Mm -hmm. She's like, mm -hmm. yeah. And she's like, all right, all right, all right. I need my hat. Have <laughs> you seen my hat? <laughs> I, I look around for the it's hat. It's on her chair. It's just sitting just there. She just obviously right. can't see it. I just, I pick it up and like hold it out to her with like a, a flourish. She's you like, know? you're such a gentleman. Let's, let's tally ho. And like puts it on her head. And yeah. Um, I think like I ought to, you know, sort of be like, no, no, you should sit down and drink some water. I'm going to go do that. But I think like this is just how I'm used to interacting with her. Like she's the drunkest you've seen much. her. Oh, okay, this is more than usual. Mmm. Mm. And, like, okay. that wine is far better than anything... Yeah, yeah. ...you would have... When, so, do I know Basil? And is Basil nearby? I mean, you know, like, do you have any dealings with Basil? Do you have a connection to Basil? What's her connection to Basil? Basil's her son. One Basil's her, her son. Sons. Okay. One of her sons. Right. She's got um, more than four kids. Okay. I think I've probably had some conversations with Basil, um, like at her house in the past, yep. like if I've come in when he's been there. Uh -huh. um, I think we probably get along all right. Uh, yep. but I he's a cockler, we... so... He's what, sorry? A cockler? Yep. Yeah, so we, we pass stories about, you know, sailing and the getting of sea food. I, I mean, know. I think Cochran, you, you get off the beach, though. I, think, I, don't think, I think he gets he gets seasick, so I think he, he does, that's why he does, like, the, the beach mm, thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. All um, right, well, maybe I tease him a bit about that then. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm. So, yeah, do you take her or do you go on your own? Um, I take her, but I think I literally, like, hold her, like, up. Mm. Like I put put my arm around around her, and then I'm like, oh, you know, it's very dark out here. 
we're we're a little wobbly. Uh, do you mind if I lean on you? Just uh, I might have hurt hurt my foot before, and uh, I just a little bit of that would be very helpful. You know, help an old man. But of course, I'm actually holding her up. But I sort of like cover it as like, oh, help me, so that she doesn't protest about like, I'm fine, I'm fine, or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you make your way down to uh, Basil's place. Um, I need to make sure that I'm... This is the, like, most NPC notes I've, like, made for a game in a long time. <laughs> like, just because I... It's because like... a lot of it is, like, town politics yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so yeah. Um, uh, yeah, you make your way down to Basil, uh, Basil's place. Um, there is a... What's the... Um... What's the tree that has like the pods full of like little fine needles that always like makes you really itchy? What's the one? Oh, um. Hmm. This is the problem is I like have an image in my head of the tree and I can't remember. I know the kind you mean. Um. I don't think it would. I don't know that they're native to that. Like, okay, I in which case, I've... there's a pear tree. Um. Alright. There's a pear tree out front that has like half, like, like, it's. It, you can see that it's like gotten so old and heavy that it started to crack, um, mm -hmm. and it's like leaning against the house, um, and like, yeah, the, the the smell of of seafood starting to go like just reeks from the house, um, and you can see that the cart just out the front with like all of the baskets uh, that mm -hmm. they used to put the cockles in. Um, Are they full or empty? No, they're empty, but they smell. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, um, yeah, so mm. you like rock up and knock on the door, I assume? Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, a young, uh, like, uh, not even a young woman, a woman answers probably like early 30s. Um, mm -hmm. It's like, uh, hello? Uh, Mom? Are you drunk? And like, yeah, and, and then like, um, I, I, I sort of, um, I like kind of wave a hand. And I'm like, ah, she is, but it's, uh, that, that's, that's not why we're here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, what's her name? Elsie. Elsie. Basil's wife, Elsie. Um, yeah, and, and, like, Basil pops up and is like, Tristan, have you got my mum drunk again? <laughs> no, lad. Uh, it's a spot of trouble. Uh, up at the nape, I came to your mum for help. She said you might be able to find us, uh, you might be able to lend us your cart. Some of my friends are injured, can't walk, like. He's it, like, okay, well, uh, mm. You and I can take the card. Elsie, can you go and can you go and get Winston? Uh, Winston's already there. He's, oh. he's, he sent me. Uh, what was he doing? Okay, uh, sure. I don't really know, but uh, we'll, we'll work that out later. Yeah, cool. So he comes up and like, um, yeah, and like, he's like, oh, well, you probably won't need these, and like, you know, takes the baskets out and all that sort of thing, and um, and yeah. And you start wheeling this, this, what is it? It's a hay cart, but it's being used for mm. like other things. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Up towards the, um, up towards the, the cottage. The, the cottage. Um, Charles, uh, yeah. you haven't found any firewood. Um, and. But you found your ribs. There they are. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I, I um, obviously have, have um, yes, feeling a lot of pain coming from my side, so I, I um, admit defeat and I head back into the, the cabin. Um, and, I mean, like, uh, remember, this doesn't have, this is missing two walls and a roof. It's missing those. Oh, it's, right, it's dilapidated. Yeah. Okay. That's a cabin more some walls that are attached to each other, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I think well, the kinds of things you um, see in like fields in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, well, next best thing is perhaps some rum. And I hand uh, Blythe the, my little flask. Um, um, yeah, and I think I Winston also offers you a cigarette. I'm sorry? Winston also offers you a cigarette. Oh, or, good or, man. Or, no, or a, it would be... It would be a cigar. A cigar? Yeah, to help with your lungs. Due to, well the, due to, the, due to um, the ribs. Capital idea. Um, now, I love the medicine of the past. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you mind, please, taking a look at this uh, wound that I seem to have uh, taken from the rocks? He's like, I'm sure you've broken a rib. Unfortunately... Without my gear, there's not a lot I can do. Uh, I can do here. Um, he's, he's like, but uh, well, I could. And and you see him like wince for a second, like he's like, like incredibly pained by this idea. But he's like, I'll I'll take. And he like takes off his coat. Um, he's like, let's see if we can't sturdy that up a bit. And like tries to like tie the coat around you. And you can see he's like. Yeah, he's being a bit funny about it. Um, about taking his coat off? I think it's pretty obvious, like, that... I, I, I think I don't think this needs a roll. Um, uh, in order to do this properly, he should tear the coat. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously mm -hmm. really likes the coat. So he's, mm -hmm. giving, you, he's giving you subpar um, uh, treatment. But he's not willing to wreck the coat yet. Um, I'm, I'm going to be I'm going to be fairly gallant about it, um, uh, and, I, and I, I'll say, oh, it's, my portly stature appears to be not quite big enough for for this. Um, please put this back on. It's cold, and um, we shall we shall get proper medical attention momentarily. Thank you for the help, though. Yeah, and I think no. he's, and I think he's like, oh, yes, of course. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I'll I'll make sure that you get something appropriate soon. He's like, oh, I think I hear, I think I see movement in the distance. Um, Very good. Perhaps you could attend to Blythe. She has a rather nasty gash on her leg. He's like, yes, of course. And like he. Um. <laughs> Like, you can see him go, I don't have anything. The only thing I could do is tear clothes, and I don't yes. want <laughs> <Yeah>. to. <laughs> He's like, I'm sure they will be here any moment. In fact, I'll go and help them, he says. Well, and like, let us, we shall, we shall uh, station ourselves here with drink and smoke. He's like, yes, yes, for the lungs. Um, and yeah, and like trots down towards uh, where, like, we can hear the wagon and, like, talking, but... Yeah. Um, can I have potentially uh, done a, a short thing in the meantime, while mm -hmm. we're, while Basil and I are mm -hmm. trudging through the darkness? Um, I want to ask Basil uh, in a, you know, conversational tone, mm -hmm. uh, I say, um, uh, Basil, uh, your, your ma seems to have, um, Another supplier? Do I do I have competition? She had some very fine wine in her house, and I sort of am like, you know, being being a bit kind of playful about it. Yeah, and I think he's like, he's like, wine. She doesn't normally dr drink wine. Normally, ah, the only thing she can thought. afford is nearly vinegar. No, oh, this was top-notch stuff. Um, it's like, who's been giving my mum wine? You uh, are all you terrible people. What did he say? He said, you are all terrible people. Like, you and whoever's <laughs> been giving his mum wine. <laughs> yeah, Tristan just, just sort of, like, chuckles. Um, you know, as, assuming or, or at least treating it as though he's, he's sort of yeah. making a joke. Um, trying to cover his disappointment because I was <laughs> to find out a secret at the... well so I mean a secret you now there. know that like, that like this is new pardon? at least you know it's new yes 
yeah, exactly. And not something that she is necessarily, huh. yeah, being open about. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's even more of a secret. It's even more interesting. All right. <laughs> oh. Cool. All right. Well, yes, um, that's probably about when we catch up yeah. with. So Winston, or Winston catches up with us. Winston trots, uh, trots up and um, it's like, I've come to help you with a cart. And, and yeah, and um, there's a bit of a conversation for a moment between um, between Basil and and Winston about like, you know, where, where Winston evades explaining what they were doing, what he was doing out here in the first Oh, place. yeah. I'm yeah. really paying attention to that too. Right. Do you want to read a person? Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to. I had sort of forgotten or was distracted when we last came across that. Was sort of distracted uh, and forgot that I uh, forgot my um, my descriptor. I didn't didn't push for that for them them juicy secrets, but I want to now. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I would like to read. So is this read another's thoughts? When you re read the thoughts of another in a charged interaction? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So All yeah, right, you're roll like, plus like green. Yeah, when, uh, Basil's happy to let it slide, but you're making it yeah. charged by by pushing. Yeah, I'm just sort of, sort of, trying to nudge and like letting them talk about it, but kind of trying to to sort of stoke the fire of the conversation, if that makes sense. Yeah, to, yeah, definitely. Because he, yeah, he basically is just like ask more questions. Just says something about like a walk in the night air to like clear the sinuses or something, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm asking questions like, um, ah, yes, of course, and uh, you know. You always go out to such dangerous, you know, parts of the cliffs for night strolls, of course, and you know things like that. Um, okay, not actually very smart, but we're going to try this anyway. Ah, <sighs> oh, it's an eight. That's yeah, pretty question, decent. So yeah, um, yes. Um, yes, ask one. Okay. Um, I know this character isn't telling me the whole truth. Um, how can I get this character to tell me why he was out there? Oh, interesting. I think it's pretty obvious that he's dodging the question because he doesn't feel like he would be safe if he answered it honestly. Um, mm -hmm. And I mm. think he also is blushing, um, mm. which is like obviously the exertion, you know, but mm. like there's a certain amount of it, like, yeah, embarrassment and fear is what mm -hmm. are like the reasons he's dodging the question. Okay. So if I were to, if I were to maybe speak to him one on one and and make him feel like it was safe to talk to me, then he might tell me. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, cool. the main point is you'd have to. It's almost to work like you have like... a move for that. It is almost like I have. <laughs> <a move. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Very good. I will stop pushing. Once I get that sense. Cool. So yeah, you rock up to the um to the the the, the ruined cottage and uh he immediately starts like fussing over Charles. Um trying to like uh being like very delicate with him and all of these sorts of things. Um and like he load like together you load both of you into the carriage. Into the into the into the cart. Um, but he's definitely like much more like pragmatic with um, with Blythe. He's just like not just get in the fucking cart, right? Like he like he's whereas with Charles he's like, are you okay? And like, does this hurt? And all these sorts of things. And with Blythe he's like, yep, cool, your oh. legs fucked, right? Like I'm loving this. Yeah, I'm loving. I was this. gonna say that probably actually That's works for you. To me, that yeah. Charles is weak as. <laughs> so I am lapping this up. I'm like. Yes, Charles. Let me scoot over. You need more room for your delicate body. Oh, did you hurt your ribs? Oh, I'm so sorry when you fell, like <laughs> face down. Like this. 
<laughs> really, it's 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 just a scratch, you know. Ouch! Oh God. Um. Oh, poor. Could we please not go over the bumps so hard? <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> Love it. I love it. So yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to put on a brave face with just absolutely no not fooling anybody. And, I mean yeah, um, you can you can do that. Do you wanna roll to um, to act under pressure to put on a brave face? <laughs> I don't know that it's I don't know that it's worth a roll. It's just I mean that's the question, say. right? Like like yeah. Mm-hmm. That like that. No, is... I, I think I think I'd actually like to um, to ask um, Basil about about old man Ryan, yeah, um, mm -hmm. and what he knows. Also, yeah. um, it has been pointed out to me. I think. No, I think this is still a cock uh, he's still a cockler, but there's probably Welkers as well. I didn't know that Welkers mm. were a thing. That's cool. Yeah, Welkers. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, Basil is like huffing and puffing as like he like pulls this card towards, um, like, back down the hill towards the town. But um, he'll, he'll, like... But I think he's, like, answering your questions quite simply as, like, uh, like he like he knows that you're in pain and is trying to distract you by answering your yep. questions mm -hmm. and engaging you in conversation. Okay. I help pull the cart, by the way. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, what, what did you want to ask him? So... Um, I want to ask him, um, I think we need to fess up. I'm going to, I'm going to shoot a look at Tristan and, and sort of say, what do you know of old man Ryan, dear chap? He's like, so I'm kind of, I, I guess I'm, I guess I'm looking at Tristan to say, you know, is, is this okay? Should we talk about it? Yeah. This? And I sort of give you like a, mm -hmm. a, a nod. And at the yeah. same time, I'm being like. <laughs> oh, really? oh no uh, yeah okay so i think there's this complicated thing i love the idea that charles looks to me and i'm like mm -mm. and then over charles's shoulder i can see life being like <laughs> but by the time i sort of react to it charles has started speaking yeah <laughs> right Good. yeah um yeah i think so he's like uh, he's like um ryan ryan's been a good man Pity to see him go. He's been an, been an important part of our community, and honestly, and it'll be less. We'll be lesser without him. You know, always wait, wait, helping wait. out the little man. Pity to see him go. So Basil already knows. So he that. knows that he's dead. Oh wait, is that what he means, though? Does he ah, mean? Good point to see him leave right. yeah so i think i i said like maybe we all kind of look at each other uh yeah, yeah and then this is hilarious like, <gasps> like yeah. look between the three of but you. then of course i remember the vision that i had and i say uh ryan was gonna skip town gonna leave was, is that right um yeah he's, he's like apparently i don't fully understand why but i assume it's uh something to do with a spot of legal trouble as these things happen and that's the way this these things go and uh without the um uh without jackson's boys around anymore no one's really standing up for that part of town hmm. did he did he have any enemies in town? Is that why he was leaving? He's like, eh, that, those types, there's always been trouble. I just assumed that the tides have turned against him. It seems that yes. way. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think, like, uh, I think when he says, like, assumed that the tides have turned, turned against him, I sort of, like, like wince, and I'm like, <laughs> Uh, and I and I kind of shoot an apologetic look at life, and then I'm like, um, uh, uh, I think that might be uh, too apt a description. Uh, unfortunately, Ryan's dead. That's that's why we were out there. It seems he didn't make it very far. 
ship got turned around, came back into the rocks. He's dead. Oh, don't he... go over the man. <laughs> God. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, Tristan, can you maybe uh, take a little more weight? <laughs> I sort of am like, uh, yes, I, I, I sort of say, uh, oh, yes, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll try. Uh, old arms, you know. He's like, I understand. Um, he's, he's like, they set out a week ago. How did they get turned back to here? Ah, oh, that is strange. You left a week ago, you say? Yes, easily. Last Sunday, as the, as the bell rang. And nobody has seen him in that week? No one. Who went Did with him? Um... Uh... I think he says, like, most of his crew had... Uh, that ship can be manned by one person. I think most of his crew went and found other, uh, uh, found other employ. They didn't like... They didn't like leaving, I think. Hmm. Hearing where he was going? <laughs> um Yeah, I think um Emily, what's the place mm -hmm. I'm thinking of? Mm. Sarah and Lloyd. I don't know. Oh, Southampton. Southampton, I think is yeah. Um mm -hmm. I think he had a sales set for Southampton. That was uh, that was uh, that was what I heard. But that's all pub talk. Huh. Apparently, uh, apparently the, um, the there's a bit more work there for mm, people who know how to get around things. Uh -huh. I don't know what you mean. Uh, how far away is Southampton? That is a good question. It is, isn't it? Seeing as we don't know where we that are. Depends, sort of. Seeing as we don't know where we are. Should we take a break? And I, I want to look something up. Mm. Um, sure, we should actually anyway. <laughs> we'll take no, a five minute anyway, break, yeah. and I'm going to look up and get an idea of where we are exactly, because I, I have an idea yeah, of where we are, but I don't know what the physicality of it. But yeah, part of the country. Yeah. Cool. All right, we'll be back in five minutes, Chad. <laughs> 